Hello friends, I am Chakriti and I am an engineering student. Today I am presenting an amazing, interesting and fascinating topic that is a wireless electricity transfer. Nowadays in our day to day life, we use various electronic gadgets which work wirelessly such as a walkie talkie, a bluetooth which transfer the information from one mobile to the another mobile, a Wi-Fi which connect computer to computer or there are many other wireless such as a wireless doorbell and many others. Now let's move to the topic. Wireless electricity transfer is a dream of various scientists, engineers and electronic hobbyists. Wireless electricity transfer. In this field, the pioneer work is done by Nikola Tesla in the last of 80s. After Nikola Tesla also, many scientists work in this field to transfer the efficient energy from one place to another place without using any kind of conductor or wires. But dear friends, there are many problems they face. There are the various physical limitations and electrical or the technical problems they face such as the energy dissipation in the air and the second, the most important limitation is the distance. As the distance increases, the energy efficiency decreases. As we all know, the energy efficiency is inversely proportional to the demonstrate how electricity transfer wirelessly. We plug in, this one is a dock which has inbuilt circuitry. This one is a coil of copper wire having about 60 turns and our LED is connected with this. When we put this, put this wire over the dock, you see the LED start glowing. When we place over this, the efficiency is very high so the glow of LED is high. When we move it away from it, you see there is a change in the energy dissipation. Here the electricity transfer wirelessly. See, there is a no connection between the two coils. So friends, here you are seeing the electricity transfer wirelessly. Now let's move to the another very interesting demonstration. Here we have this LED panel which is connected to the rectifier circuit and this rectifier circuit is connected to the another copper coil which have a large number of turns than the earlier one. It is having about 160 turns. When we place this coil over the dock, see the LED start glowing. When we move it, even then also the LED is glowing. So here we see there is a no electrical connection. The electricity transfer wirelessly. In this way, we are introducing sufficient energy to run the electronic gadgets which use a very less amount of electricity. Now, I want to show you one more very interesting experiment. See, this is a fan which is connected to a rectifier circuit and the furthermore connected with a copper coil having about 160 turns. When it's placed over the dark, the fan starts running. See, there is a no electricity connection and the fan is running. Now must be thinking that what is in the dock. Now we go through the basic of the wireless electricity transfer. We are giving a supply, we are giving a 50 hertz AC supply and converted it into the high frequency AC supply. As we know, when a high frequency AC supply passes through any conductor, it generates a energy over the now friends, I would like to show you one more very interesting experiment. In this, we will charge this mobile phone. There is a copper wire, tons of copper wire of about 270 tons. This one is a rectifier circuit. In this, this one is a bridge rectifier to convert a high AC into DC. These are the capacitor of about 1000 microfarad for, uh, for removing the ripple factor, ripple AC factor and this one is a regulator IC to give a constant 5 volt. Now when I connect this port to the charge, mobile phone, you can see the mobile phone start charging. See, isn't it amazing? Yes, of course it is.
show you what is in the top. So, there are two NPN transistors used with a proper heat chain and an oscillation is determined by RC power. A tolerator, a tolerant transformer to generate, to generate power transmitting coil of about 28 tons of copper wire inside this to generate a high frequency AC current. This is very simple to make by using various discrete electronic components which are very easily available in the market. For further details, you can log on to www.dkdynamics.com and thanks for watching me friends and I promise to be back with more interesting projects. Thank you.